the biggest obstacle for any company or country to produce their own pre-trained base model from scratch is gpu cards they are simply not available if they are they are very expensive you would think that the company which makes and owns the largest collection of gpu cards in the world that is nvidia would be producing models left right and center of the highest quality interestingly enough that is not the case open reasoning nemotron 7 billion is a new model from nvidia which is fine-tuned on alibaba's quen model the chinese company and not only that yesterday we covered their canary quen model which is an asr model again fine-tuned on quen now in this new series of nemotron there are four models there is a 1.7 billion parameter model this 7 billion parameter parameter model which we are going to install locally in this video and then there is a 14 billion and 32 billion parameter models all of them have been fine-tuned on top of alibaba's coin models so go figure this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel now before i show you the installation a very quick review and overview of this model so this open reasoning nemotron 7 billion is a model derived from coin 2.5 7 billion instruct model that has been post trained specifically for reasoning about math code and science solution generation and that is what we are going to test out once we get it installed it is trained on 5 million reasoning traces for math code and size and can handle up to 64k output tokens making it quite suited for complex reasoning tasks that require extensive step-by-step -step solution nvidia has also shared a lot of benchmarking information on the model card which you can check out and i will drop the link to its uh, card in videos description so let's get started and by the way if you're interested in these nemotron models i have been covering them for a long time just go to my channel search with nemotron and then you should be able to find heaps of videos around that i have done it with vllm olama you name it that should be uh, available on the channel so i am going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram the tool which I'm going to use in order to get this installed is VLLM, which is a very fast inference engine. If you just go to my channel, search with VLLM and you should be able to find this first video. If you haven't installed it ever, just watch this video. You should be able to install it in no time. I already have it installed. So I'm just going to straight up take you to my another terminal where I'm going to serve this model with VLLM. V, so running this command would first download this model on our local system and then it is going to serve it and we will access it in any graphical uh, user interface so i will be using open web ui but feel free to go with any other while it does that if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpu so please do check them out also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you can see that the model is being downloaded for a 7 billion parameter model. The size is quite standard as you can see. Anyway, let's wait for it to get downloaded okay so the model is now downloaded and also being served by our vllm next up let's run our gui so i'm just going to use this open web ui serve so this is going to launch the graphical user interface with open web ui and we can then access it in our browser that should be <clears throat> sorry ready soon and then we should be able to access it at localhost at port 3000 there you go so it is loaded let's set our settings in the admin panel on the bottom left let's go to settings and then connections and as we are serving our vllm at port 8000 so let me specify that port here let's click on save let's click on new chat 
and you can see that our nvidia's open reasoning model is all ready to be used so let me uh, quickly run the first prompt so what i'm going to do first i'm just going to keep it very targeted um, to the domain which mo this model is suited for so we are going to test it out for math coding and science let's start with the math question so first up i'm asking it uh, this math question so but this math question is doing it is testing the model on multiple advanced concepts like for regular polygon properties and inscribed figures geometric relationship between different polygons and area calculations involving radicals spatial reasoning about vertex selection coordinate geometry or trigonometric relationship so let's see if this model understands all of these concepts it's a reasoning model so it is thinking it is first understanding what the problem is and then how to tackle it it is devising a plan it is going step by step it is slicing and dicing the problem as you can see here it is coming up with its own equation then it is going to self check or reflect on what it produced maybe it would also search for any other alternative it might be more rewarding internally as it runs on this chain of thought there you go you see so it is just checking its own stuff and it's saying i think i made a mistake so model is just checking its own and then double checking the area formulas and as I, as i always say it's very very fascinating to see these models thinking anyway let's while it runs let's see if it we can quickly check the vram consumption so it is consuming just close to 45 gig of vram interesting okay so let's wait for this model to finish thinking and then we will check if the response is correct or not which is what matters at the end of the day it's been almost 10 minutes and the model is still thinking so these are the new sort of models where they are thinking long um, and hard maybe and just it's a test time scaling where the model has thought and now it has <clears throat> given us the answer and this is the answer and the answer is spot on correct well done so it has thought for a long time and if you go through the thinking i think the thinking is really really fascinating and then it has just given us a short answer with an equation which is perfectly all right okay so that is all good now let me test it on a coding problem so math looks pretty pretty reasonable i would say now what i'm going to check out here um, i'm going to check it out on a complete code production where model uh, should be able to give me a full-blown answer so let me show you what i mean so i'm saying it create a comp i will run it and then we will check it out so that it, it, it takes its time so i'm saying create a complete python program that implements a real-time fractal visualizer with the following specifications i have given it a lot of specification and it should give me a complete a runnable program so this is going to test if it understands again some mathematical computation like fractal generation then real-time graphics and animation can it do event handling and do user interaction can it do some performance optimization with numpy and then some of the file io operations also i am testing it if it is able to do some matplotlib gui programming and mathematical visualization so um, i will also run it in my terminal to see if it works or not for that of course make sure that you have numpy and matplotlib installed which you can simply install with pip command if you're also following along so let's go down to see what is happening with this inference time testing so uh, scaling so it is actually doing pretty well it is going step by step and it has divided all the specs into different chunks and then tackling each one of them let's wait for it to finish because it is going to take i'm sure 10 minutes or so and the model has finished responding look at the approach it's it has understood it 
it has come up with this approach after checking various options thought for around 15 minutes by the way and this is the whole solution code which it has produced let's run it in my terminal let me take you there and then i have already pasted it in my fractal.py let's run this wow there you go look at the animation how good is that i mean of course there is a room for improvement but still in one go it has produced this fractal visualization very very nice seriously okay that is good let's try out a scientific um, problem now what i'm going to do here i'm going to give it this actual science problem i have started running it but let's try to understand what the problem is which we are asking to model to solve so this model is testing multiple scientific concepts if you see here i am asking it that a pharmaceutical company is developing a new drug that targets a specific enzyme there's some experimental setup and then i have actual question there to calculate the minimum dosing frequency and i'll be honest i really don't know what this means i have used another model to generate this problem but anyway what this is testing is biochemistry pharmacology and then pharmacokinetics clinical pharmacology and some mathematical modeling i already have um, the correct answer which is to this question which i'm highlighting so it is primarily three doses per day every eight hours of 35 mg each let's see if this nemotron model is able to do that if you look at its thinking so it is thinking about it and it has already you know come up with some equation and that looks pretty complex to me there you look at this equation oh my god okay wow very interesting you see the fraction of enzyme bound by this and if you look at the thinking it is now coming up with its own values so creating some tests putting in different mgs um, all the doses and then it is testing it i'm sure it is going to take more than 10 minutes so i will just let it run wait for it to come back and then we will check if the response is correct or not okay so it, this time it has thought for over um, eight minutes but interestingly enough when it says it says thought for seven minutes anyway it was longer than seven minutes but doesn't matter so it has produced the answer you see it has gone step by step so not only it gives us the answer but it also describes the chain of thought in summary look at the complex equations and then this is a step two it is still printing out the step three and step four by the way so let's wait for it to finish and then we will check out the answer and there you go so it says that for five doses per day both conditions are satisfied now this is a minimum one five doses per day now i need someone from this field to confirm because some of the models are telling me three doses but you know deep sea can future say five doses which matches with this anyway i will um, take this as yes but i think more importantly the way it has tackled the problem is very fascinating very very good stuff so look pretty solid model i would say the good fine-tuned model and there is also a 32 billion 14 billion available which i'm sure going to be a real rocking model let me know what do you think please like the video and share share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much